JC Motors with an HJC modular helmet comparison. At JC Motors, you can ride with confidence and shop with confidence, knowing that we offer no hassle returns, life returns, and even a damage replacement offer. Go to jcmotors.com to get all the details and you'll find out why over 310,000 motorcycle enthusiasts like yourself have purchased their parts and gear from us. Today, we've got Scott representing HJC to tell you about the modular helmets. Hi. Today I'm going to go over the four different individual modular helmets that HJC offers within their lineup. Um, pricing varies between all different ones as well as fit, functionality, and comfort. Uh, we're going to start off basically going from their $139 helmet all the way up to a $450 helmet. Uh, the, you have the CL Max, the IS Max, the Cy Max, and the Arfa Max, which is the newest uh, addition to their modular helmet this year. The uh, CL Max is a polycarbonate helmet. Uh, it's a basic constructed helmet modular flip up. Um, it's got a center releasing mechanism in the front, which is very easy to release and open up the flip up chin bar if you're wearing gloves. It's got a standard clear shield. Uh, Dark smoke, light smoke, other colors are available. Uh, it's very easily removable. Um, and this is their CL Max. It's just, again, just a very basic helmet. It retails for $139.99. Um, you can get different cheek pads if you need uh, thicker cheek pads or thinner cheek pads, just depending on uh, the size of your, your face, the construction of your face. Um, and then you move up to the IS Max. The IS Max is their $209 helmet. Um, this helmet here is a polycarbonate composite shell. Uh, it has a silver cool interior on the inside, which really helps with moisture wicking, um, removing the heat and the sweat and humidity off your head quickly and out the vents. Um, it also has an integrated sun shield as well, which is released and operated by the mechanism on top of the helmet, you simply take your finger, push up, it lowers the shield down. To release the shield back, you simply push the button and it allows the shield to retract back up into the helmet. There are three different stops on the shield. Depending on the size of your face, the size of your nose, some of us have larger noses than the others. So the shield sometimes can come down and touch your nose if you don't like that. Uh, we, they offer three different stops for, for comfort. So you have the first stop, then there's a second stop, and then there's a third stop as well. The third stop is also used in removing the shield uh, also. Uh, you simply just pull down on the, the shield itself and it actually comes out fairly easy with uh, some, light, uh, uh, some light tugging. To put it back in, you simply line back up these tabs on the shield, back inside. These two little dog ears on top of the shield will then slide back into the catch mechanism uh, inside the helmet here. You just roll it up and it snaps back in and it's all ready to go back. The, sh these, uh, the integrated sun shields also come in multiple different colors. You can get dark smoke, light smoke, um, amber, clear, just depending on your preference. Uh, the IS Max is also equipped and ready for the uh, Chatterbox uh, communication system. This tab right here, let me open this up for you and I'll show you really quick. Uh, Chatterbox offers a communication device that simply just snaps right inside the side of the helmet here. And then you just wire your boom and your mic in front. And then inside the helmet, you also have places, a recessed area for your speakers. So it's a very clean look. It's very aerodynamic. Um, it sticks out maybe... Uh, between a quarter of an inch to a half an inch outside the shell of the helmet. 
and uh, you get a, a not so much drag also uh, as far as wind noise and resistance uh, with that unit. The IS Max also comes with a pin lock shield uh, and an anti-fog insert inside the box so you can snap the anti-fog insert inside the shield and it will reduce fogging on cold mornings, um, at stop lights, uh, things of that nature. The next helmet from that is the Cymax. The Cymax is a fully constructed helmet of fiberglass material. Uh, weighs 3.8 pounds. The IS Max weighs 3.6 pounds. And the CL Max also weighs 3.8 pounds. The Cymax basically has a lot of the same features as your IS Max does. Uh, with the difference of the silver cool and forever cool interior inside the helmet. Um, it also offers the same ratcheting mechanism for your integrated sun shield. The ventilation on this helmet is quite a bit different than the other two helmets I just introduced. Um, they use a very advanced channeling ventilation system that allows the air to actually run through the interior of the helmet through channels and then exit out the back ports. With these two helmets here, uh, the Cymax and the Arfa Max, these two helmets are developed within wind tunnels. And to get a lot of the uh, aerodynamics of this helmet and the wind flow coming through the helmet, the ventilation of it, they really rely a lot of negative air pressure. So as a rider is running through the wind, <clears throat> as the air passes over the helmet, flows through and it creates a negative air pressure on the back of the helmet here which creates massive amounts of suction. So they really rely on a lot of suction uh, rather than air force through the helmets. Uh, this helmet as well has the chatterbox communication system uh, ready to go. Um, that's a separate unit that you would have to purchase with these helmets. It's not something that comes uh, with the helmet itself. The Arfa Max is the newest modular in their lineup. It's very lightweight, 3.1 pounds, uh, extremely lightweight for a uh, carbon fiber, fiberglass, and other organic man-made fibers. Um, it comes with a built-in chin curtain, which also uh, keeps the helmet nice and quiet as well. It doesn't allow any of the wind noise from the bike or anything like that to come up underneath the helmet. Uh, your chin, neck curtain around the bottom of the helmet has an extra bead of material that's sewn inside the edges of the uh, cheek pads here, which really, uh, uh, what do you want to say, it really uh, comes around your neck, it really encloses the neck area and doesn't allow any of the road debris, the dust, the dirt, the moisture, um, and the noise to come up underneath your helmet. Uh, we also included a reflective pad on the back of the helmet just to get a little more uh, visibility for nighttime riding. As you can see how small this neck area is here, it, it really does enclose well on you. Um, the strap has a nice snap on it also so that as you're riding, uh, when you strap up your helmet and as you're riding, the strap's not sitting there flapping around, you can actually take and snap the strap to each other so that it keeps it secure and keeps it from flapping around. Again, it's a, a center locking mechanism, so with ease of gloves, you can unlock it as well. Um, stainless steel locking mechanism on uh, the Arfa Max. The ventilation system is very similar to the Cymax helmet, where they use a lot of the wind tunnel technology as well. It's very aerodynamic, very sporty looking. It also comes with an integrated sun shield as well. The interior is fully removable. I'll show you here. Just unsnap the cheek pads, pull those out.
And then the interior also unsnaps. And you can hear by the sound of the snaps, they're extremely secure. Extremely secure. <laughs> There's snaps underneath that you've got to get unsnapped. There we go. So as you can see, underneath is the polystyrene, expanded polystyrene underneath. And this is what protects your head in the impact. Um, as, you, as you are in an accident, you've got the carbon fiber, fiberglass, and other aramid fibers on top. And then you've got the expanded polystyrene underneath. The initial impact will always be enforced by the carbon fiber, where then your polystyrene underneath is what protects your head in that impact. It allows it to, to crush and uh, give you the best protection possible. Um, the interior of all the helmets, they can be washed in a warm sink of water with a little bit of Dawn or something like that. Uh, we don't recommend putting them in your normal laundry or anything like that. It's just uh, best to hand wash them and also let them hand dry as well. So depending on your riding, what type of riding you're doing will depend on the style of helmet that you want. You know, if you're if you're an early morning commuter or you're just commuting back and forth to work, um, you're probably going to want something more along the lines of you know the IS Max or the CL Max. Um, if you're a long distance touring guy uh, or you want something that's really a little more high end for a lot more protection, uh, you're going to be more along the lines of a Psy Max or the Arfa Max. Um, your CL Max again is going to be $139.99. Your IS Max is going to retail about $209. Your Psy Max will retail for $399.99. And your Arfa Max will retail for $459.99. And uh, that's pretty much HJC's lineup of their four different modular helmets. Okay, so I want to show you how they look uh, while they're on a, a rider's head. So here's the CL Max. Let me put that on for you. Next, I'm going to put on the IS Max. That's the IS Max. Next is the Psy Max. That's the Cymax. And then last but not least is the Arfa Max.
And that was the Arpha Max. Thank you, Scott. As always, we welcome your questions. You can call us at 800-706-9476 or go to jcmotors.com, get live support, and you'll find out why JC Motors is where riders get deals.